if you just signed up for Misfits Market, um, amidst everything that's going on right now, um, I've been using Misfits Market for almost a year now, and I have some tips on how to shop with them. Um, the first is, if you want to be able to customize, you really should hop in as quickly to 4 p.m. on Thursday as possible because they do run out of uh, certain things. For example, um, the quickest things that run out, if they have them, are... Uh, what are they called? Clementines, like the little the little baby orange things. Uh, mandarins. So mandarins normally run out. Uh, number two, never get green bell peppers. Um, I don't know why, but they always come broken and partly rotten. Um, so I do think that Misfits Market is great right now in general. Um, I was living in New York when I first joined them, and so it made a lot of sense there too, just because produce delivery is really a lot to carry um, if you're in New York. Uh, so I think overall it's better, but it is a lot from Mexico. And so, um, yes, their customer service is really bad. They will respond usually. Um, one time over Christmas, uh, I just didn't get a box and they charged me and then it was just in shipping forever and then it just never came. Um, and then I emailed them about it and uh, I, I didn't get charged, but um, they just completely dropped the ball. So. Uh, that is something that you are, might run into just because it's a, a venture funded startup. And, um, sometimes you can assume that your food is getting subsidized and that it might be better, uh, if it's venture funded. Um, I think that might be the case with Just Salad, but, uh, for this one, um, for Misfits Market, you can tell that they did sink most of their venture money into the marketing. Um, that's my guess anyway. And uh, certainly not into the produce. Um, as for packaging, they have two main types of packaging. One is uh, an eggshell foam um, with paper on both sides and then wrapped in plastic. And then they kind of make a makeshift um, cooler out of that. The other that I prefer from a sustainability standpoint is the paper um it's kind of like they make a, a paper a box out of paper inside the box and it has a uh, a lot of ripples so it has a lot of surface area and that book that box does not keep the produce as cold but um i do like that box uh better just from a sustainability standpoint because i don't know it's produce and um you know, usually most of the produce arrives fine anyway. Um, I did get an apple in this shipment that was completely rotten. Um, so that is, I would say that every box probably has one rotten thing um, that you're paying for. Uh, but again, I mostly just use Misfits for convenience. Um, I'm not crazy about the fact that the produce is from Mexico. And starting in May, I will be switching over to a local CSA um, that already, I mean, immediately uh, after the coronavirus thing really hit, they emailed us about what uh, policies and practices they're going to be using to um, make sure that the food is safe. Um, the other thing I'll say about Misfits Market is that as far as I know, I might be um, unsubscribed from their updates list, but they haven't emailed at all about coronavirus or what their policy is. Um, I do live with someone elderly, so I do care and, or more. And, um, when I get my box, I spray it completely down with hydrogen pro. I have a, um, an old spray bottle that I used to use for, uh, white vinegar. And I just took the top part of that and stuck it onto one of the Costco size hydrogen peroxide bottles. And I think that they're a normal hydrogen peroxide size. Um, I don't dilute it. I keep it at 3%. Uh, I think it's 3%. And um, I just spray the entire box. I let it sit there, bottom and everything. I let it sit there for about, I don't know, five or 10 minutes. And then um, I'm just very careful around cross-contamination. 
when I'm unpacking the box, I immediately put everything into um, white vinegar to soak, which I recommend you do anyway, particularly beet greens and um, leeks. If you're not sure about how to wash a leek, I would Google it because leeks have a lot of layers and the way that they grow, they can trap a lot of dirt. Um, I don't mind, I don't think I mind the dirt so much from an eating standpoint, just cause I mean, it's gonna happen anyway, but uh, I care from a flavor standpoint. Um, and then my personal, uh, my personal routine is I'll get the box and then I'll try and cook the whole thing um, the same day. And then that's just my food um, for the rest of the week. Um, if you're curious about how else I'm staying so plump in uh, these times, it's also because I've been getting a lot of my meat from... Uh, and bread. I've also been getting fresh break bread from one of the local farms here. Um, there's one farm that sells like beet, grass-fed beef and sausage and really clean chicken and um, farm fresh eggs and all that. So I get most of my um, meat related and dairy kind of stuff there, although eggs aren't dairy. But um, and then uh, we ran out of milk yesterday, which was really sad. So I haven't found a new place for milk yet. And then um, for bread and then uh, meals, there's a really great farm nearby called the Contented Rooster Farm and they will uh, prepare meals once a week that you can go and pick up on Sunday. And this upcoming uh, Sunday is gonna be pizza, pizza day because they have a big brick oven in their backyard and they use it to bake all their breads they also used it to break, bake like whole chickens. Um, so if you can, if you're not, if you're somewhere relatively rural, um, I think it's actually safer to drive to a farm and just get food from there. Um, the One of the farms didn't have very good, I mean, they said that they did, but I didn't actually see it done around picking up cash and whatnot. Uh, and then the other one just did not care at all. So I'm really looking forward to the CSA because um, they care a lot. So it's hard to say whether that's better than going to a Costco. Uh, my understanding is that in California, Costco, they're basically spraying down every single uh, refrigerator every time someone opens it. They're spraying you down when you walk in. Um, I think that that's a really good method. I think it's hard to say if a high traffic area with really good sanitation practices is better than an ultra, ultra low traffic area um, where it's mostly just up to me. Um, so again, when I do get into the uh, car, I'll, or before I put everything in the car, I'll start to spray it all with hydrogen peroxide. But um, you know, again, it doesn't really help with the food, uh, especially if it was contaminated after. So I don't know. I. I'm just gonna keep doing it this way for now. Uh, but anyway, so that's that's my review of Misfits Market. Um, I think that safe bets are, uh, I, I mean, I'll just, maybe I'll just run over, run through the um, options this week. But so safe things that are probably not gonna be rotten and um, are probably gonna be a reason, oh, that's the other thing. So Misfits does have a tendency to just send you whatever they feel like. And uh, even if you do customize your box, sometimes they'll just give you half of what you want. Um, and they do warn you that that's a possibility, but uh, my main pet peeves are when I get squash because I think all squash except for spaghetti squash and yellow squash um, and I guess zucchini taste terrible. Um, and then uh, zucchini and then, um, ooh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, and this week, this week I got Anaheim peppers and I really don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, one of the reviews that I read about Misfits Market talked about how if you get something that you don't like, it's like two or three dollars off your box. Um, but I've seen a lot of CSAs. I've seen a lot of, I tried Imperfect Produce. I thought Imperfect Produce was horrendous quality. Um, interestingly enough, a lot of their produce tasted conventional. Uh, so I don't recommend Imperfect Produce at all. 
Um, but if your only two options are Misfits Market and Imperfect Produce, I would definitely go with Misfits Market. They both uh, provide the option to choose what's in your box. I think that um, once you get into a routine with Misfits Market of just cooking your food every single week, it is actually a, a really great routine. So um, anyway, so uh, carrots are always good. Leeks are always good. Um, green cabbage is always good. Onions. The potatoes are usually good. Um, I saw that one person posted how they received some potatoes that had a bunch of um, eyes in them. So I haven't gotten the eyes, but I've definitely gotten ones that have the green underneath the skin. And so the green is known to be um, literally toxic. Uh, hard to say how much it really affects you. But um, I also always get the radishes. Uh, never gotten the turnips. The apples are always great, except for that one apple that was bad. Um, but I don't think I've ever had a bad apple. I have had bad limes before. Um, let's see. I had one bad bok choy, but I always get bok choy just because bok choy is the best. Um, but again, the way that I cook it is I just saute everything in uh, organic grass-fed beef tallow. So that's it. I just saute everything individually in organic grass-fed beef tallow and it tastes amazing. Sometimes I add salt and pepper, sometimes I just add salt, uh, but that's like a very, I found it to be a very safe way to go, um, and everything tastes amazing, and I am not a vegetarian, but um, I do try to eat grass-fed beef as much as possible if I am eating beef, and uh, beef tallow, if you look up the research, is not bad for you. Um, if you look up the more current research, not the stuff that was funded by the sugar industry. Anyway, I hope this was how, oh, um, and then lettuce can be hit or miss. Um, but this week they gave me also frizzy greens and I guess I've just been eating frizzy green salad where it's just, I guess there's more surface area for the, uh, for the dressing. I started using dressing because I ran out of cheese. So here we are. Anyway, I hope this was helpful.